So if you put a pink head on it, they call it the BB or the Big Ball there. Now this is the original fly, it was tied with some guys uh, who were fishing in Russia and basically struggling a wee bit and two or three vodkas, whiskey, whatever and they come up with this fly. Now I'll give you an idea, I've tied 70 of these this year so they're certainly catching fish on this uh, here in Scotland as well abroad. Now this is the version I'm going to be tying. Uh, I got asked to tie a cone head uh, cascade. So I'm doing a big baldy version or a BB cascade as we call it now. It's quite simple and basically put a couple of hackles of the right colour, orange and yellow at the back, but still sticking to the main theme which is the flash. Same kind of body in the pink head in this case, but I put a wee bit of jungle cock on it obviously. You can tie it to suit. The chartreuse is to lift the colour at the back. Um, it helps to blend. Now you can, with the, the tubing at the back, you can change it to either fluorescent orange or even pink, clear, black. Just And it takes the colour of the fly, it tones it down or lifts it, it depends. Now it is reasonably simple to tie. Now the tubes I'm using, these are the tubes here. <laughs> these are the Frankensnelder. Sean Stanton tubes and I'm using the 14 millimeter. Now what I've got is just a, a red inner tubing. Put it through, simply melted the end so it's caught. And I usually leave like maybe a centimeter or so, half an inch from the tube to work from. And I just put it onto this is a needle, no it's not a needle actually, it's an old it's a blind eye hook that I had and I tend to bend off it as you can see it's got a tapered shank so actually it ties really well it holds these tubes for me and the tube tool is this is the HMH one so I just pull it into it's nice and tight just make sure it's tight I'm going to move now the thread I'm going to use just the uni thread AO and the fire orange now if you're tying onto a tube that's obviously a, like this outer tubing it will spin. Now what you've got to do is obviously stop that spinning and you've got to start your thread onto the the inner tubing. Just build it up a wee bit. And then what I do then is crisscross the thread and just work my way up. Just in between the grooves to the part, this part here. And I can go up and down a couple of times making sure it's not going to move. Back onto the tube, back up. Doesn't have to be super tidy but tidy enough and there we are so that stops it rotating and holds it well now for the the back I'm going to put in some this is chartreuse light bright or glister whatever you can find diamond bright is a good one uh, I'm just going to use that as a just a bit of dubbing at the back to lift the flash you don't want the flash to be sitting flat uh, it is a mobile so it will tend to go flat so you have to encourage it to come up to open out. So it's just going to form like a ball or a tag as I say with the chartreuse dubbing. You use what you have, you don't have to stick to exactly what I've got. Take your thread to the front. Now you can bring some of the flash out just lightly with the velcro. Just watch your thread to there. And then I've got a couple of caught cackles here. Uh, you can use hen, you can use whatever hackles you have. Obviously a hot orange and a, a nice nice yellow. You tie these in by the tip. Uh, I mean, the reason I'm tying them in by the tip is the stems are quite thick near the bottom. And you don't want it too thick. I don't like them too thick. So what I've done, sitting one on top of the other, just drawing it, drawing the fibres together like that, as you can see. And then come in and catch it. Now I'm going to put some wax on my thread. Fold back the tips. Nice and tight. Always keeping the thread tight. You can break away these waist ends. 
pulled the hackle, just drawing it back with your fingers. Just lightly. I mean, you're looking just to add, I mean, again, this is going to help hold the flash, open the flash out so it doesn't cling together. At the same time as well, adding a bit of colour. That should be enough. Just follow it up, put a 90 degree bend into the stems of the hackles. Just allowing the thread to get into the stem, making sure it's tied in. Now, cut these two different lengths, so there's the orange away, the yellow. If you cut them both the same length, what tends to happen, you have a, a big step. As you can see, there's some fibres going the wrong way. You encourage these back, tidy up this area again. A bit of wax on there, I don't want these caught, so. Go back if you're not happy. And again, just take the thread down. You see, Sean's tubes are tapered, so that it helps to inform that, or makes it easier to get that tapered shape in the body like you get in the, the snelders. Now again, what I'm going to do is just brush some of the flash into the, the hackle fibres. Draw them back ready for the flash. Now, this is the one I'm using. It's a mirror flash in orange. This one's for vineyards. Uh, it's a good flash. You see, as a mobile, it's a flat, it's not crinkled. You could use whatever you like, but this is the original stuff, so... Got a few fibres here, and I've moistened it. Just run your fingers through it, and just moisten it to hold it together. And then, length. I was measuring more like if you look at the 14 mil, so you went three times that, at least going over the back, and then you want to encourage it to roll around the the shank of the tube. So you get your length, and then what I do is just encourage the flash to come all the way around. Just using my fingers and the thread, even if you come half, let's say down a wee bit, say halfway into the tube two or three turns, just to secure it at this point and uh, not to sort of finish it off or anything, just to see where it's sitting so you can always go back you want the fucking uneven spread of the flash all the way around you, you can twist there, you can see with my fingers here, just roll and using your nail, encourage the flash all the way around obviously the far side is the one you can't see, so you take your time and have, have a look Again, we a wax on the thread to make sure it's not going to slip. You will get another fly out of this, this here. Uh, maybe a smaller one, uh, in this case because it's quite not as long. So again, just tip of the cuts, just come out different lengths. All the way around. Lost a couple here, but you can bring them back in. What I do is I'll keep this for the, the 10 mil. Moisten your fingers. This will hold it. Sit it on your desk, ready for the next fly, as I say. Then we can start to basically tidy up. The first thing I'm going to do is run the thread down. Just tidying these ends. You may slip at this bottom end here, but don't worry. You can always up with the thread turns just take that step away and then as you come up come right up against the flash and the hackle and you'll see the fibres starting to really open and there we are just give you an idea I've got the hair dryer here and you can see how the flash you can blend it a wee bit just run a flash through it or the hair dryer through it sorry you can have a look and see the length. Gives you a better idea on how the fly is going to sit. And that's fine. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to change my thread over to black. So I've got just a uni thread in black in this case, an AO. Start at the bottom. Just to go with the black dubbing I'm going to put on, it's no use try to hide the orange or the fire orange thread. Your way up. Now I'm going to tie in, this is a medium gold 
Oval tinsel. Tie it on in the way back up. Nice and tight. It's not going to move. Looking at the taper, I'm always looking at the shape of the body. Now, I've got some black dubbing here, or flash, or you use glister. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is I've got some light mohair that I'm going to blend into it. It's landed on, it's on the floor. Just, this is just a light mohair. What I'm doing is just pull out some of it. Use any kind of dubbing, it could be even some wool fibres if you want. Get some of the flash. Just blend it through your fingers. The dubbing itself, you're blending it in, this gives it a nice binding agent so that it holds really well. Now this pay times to take your thread to the front and build up from the front and back down because when you come down it tend to slip maybe. So this way you can actually Stop that, so just lightly put the dubbing on, and that's like a reservoir of dubbing there, ready to sort of tighten up, slacken off the suit as you wind up. As I say, you start off quite, quite thin, and then just start to build it up. This is why I'm using the black thread, it makes it easier to do this. And when you're winding the thread through, it's, it's actually securing in the dubbing. Take your time when you're doing this, just work your way through. Now, as you come to this point here, just, just stretch out the dubbing. You can thin it out if you feel you've got a thick enough body. Just work your way down, just keep going. Give away the excess. Anything going forward, you can draw it back with your fingers. Do a few turns. Now, Wax on your thread, bring your rib through, nice and tight, straight turn there, come right up, follow it, now make sure you get a good few turns in there, make sure your rib stays tight, you don't want it to, two or three turns and then mess around only to allow the rib to get come loose, you don't want to do that. You see how many turns I put in there. It's important that you, your ribs part of the main, part of the fly, holding it together. So you've got to look after it. And then what I'm going to do here is just a bit of Velcro. A wee bit more life into your body by just lightly banging out some of the dubbing. There we are. Hackle, I'm just going to use a black hackle. It's a Chinese cock. Or you could use a hen, it's up to yourself. Um, no, oh, I've got a hen cape here in black, so a nice hackle on length, not too long. You're actually winding on this area here where your thread turns are. You tie it in by the tip. Okay, I'll give it wax on my thread, two or three turns down, fold back the tip. Keeping the thread tight, you can break away tip of the hackle and then you can fold back the fibres and wind one turn in front of the other till you've got enough hackle work your way down they are happy scratch in there again wax Nice bend into the ninth degree bend into the stem of the hackle. So you can see I've opened it out so I can get the thread turned right into the stem. Trim this away. Tidy up. Now I'm going to go back to the the hair dryer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what happens when you wind a hackle. It basically turns, twists it, and flattens it a wee bit. So your hackle fibres are all twisted with the stem. Now you need to bring these back slightly because as you wind you will fold them into the turns so watch if you watch this I just all I'm doing is bringing the fibers back to myself all the way around just 
spring away from the dressing. And you can see you can see the shape that you've owned it. Which looks okay. Sitting fine. There's the tie in which is optional this, you don't need to put jungle cock on the fly. But I'm gonna do it just to show you what it's like. So I've got two eyes the same size. Just line them up one top of the other here. Look at the length. Just to the back, just to the bend of the body there. Take away some of the fibres. I'm not going to be too fussy with this other than putting it on the side slightly. So look at the length that you want. Just press down, make sure they're even. Same length. Come around with two or three turns. Just check that they're sitting right so you can bring them round. Paste them straight in line with the tube. Wax on your thread. Tighten up. Fold these back. Make sure they're secure, they're never going to pull out. Don't have to be too fussy with the tidy up part here because you're going to put a cone head in front. Now the cone head could be whatever colour you like. To suit the colour of the fly, it could be gold, silver, could be red, fluorescent orange, or in this case it's going to be pink to, to go with the the original dressing. Now I'm using this one here. Again, it's from Sean Stanton. This is uh, small cone heads here. In this case, pink. Taking one out. Now what you do is come in, touch all the way around with super glue. Don't be shy with it. Don't put it too far into the, don't put any in the dressing too much. Just at the front and slide it on. All the way up, nice and tight. Don't make sure it's tight. Make sure that you get this reason that it's level. You don't want it sitting off slightly so you can move it around. It's okay. A pair of scissors here, a large pair. Two mil or so from the, the cone. Trim it away. And then what we do is just light it up, so there be puff of smoke, that basically means it's stopped. So I turn it round, well it's still reasonably soft, slide it in, and there we are. It opens out the tube, and then we've got the, in this case the chartreuse, or fluorescent yellow, silicon tubing. Slide in at the back. You can put a wee bit of super glue or even tie it on if you want, but these actually stay on really well. And you want to be able to change it. If you want, the, if you think the colour of the water's maybe too dark, then we can change it. Now ch check the length. Just a wee tad too long, so I'm just going to take a wee bit off. I should do it. There we are. And that's uh, the BB Cascade cone head, the big baldy as they would call it. You see, there's the the original fly. I mean, this is it works extremely well. It's a bit a lot of flash on it. Some people are going to laugh at it, but when you're catching fish. Uh, that's the main thing. You know, as long as you're doing well, and there's this, the variants. You come from the design of the original fly. You can add on to it. Got one here with an orange shackle just to brighten up the flash a wee bit more, that's a bigger size. Just to make the orange a wee bit more intense at the top, just like I did with the hackles. So use your colour combinations that you like, change them to suit.